Hi guys, my name is Bethany Atazada and I'm the author of Evelyn's Number, a young adult science fiction dystopian novel. Right there! Oh, I pointed wrong. That one. The one that's blue. <laughs> book reviews are so valuable. They spread the word about your book and it's somebody else marketing instead of you. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about Amazon and Goodreads reviews today, but mostly we're going to focus on the kind of reviews you get when you reach out to specific individuals with an online platform of some sort that are specifically recommending books to people. Whether it's a bookstagrammer or a booktuber or a book blogger or something else, I'm going to give you specific tips on how to find them and reach out to them and how to ask them for a review. When I was getting ready to publish Evelyn's Number, I reached out to dozens of book reviewers, specifically on Instagram, and I asked them if they'd be willing to review a copy of my book. Obviously, the more people who talk about your book, the better, and if you remember from my other marketing videos, I talk about how book sales come from word of mouth, searches, and reviews. So obviously reviews are in the reviews category, but then if you go outside of Amazon and Goodreads, they also are a lot of exposure with word of mouth. I do want to touch on Amazon really quick, but your options on Amazon are a little bit limited because they have a lot of rules around how they do reviews. And um, I do think it changes a lot, so always make sure to do your research and make sure this hasn't changed. But currently they, mainly don't want people's reviews to be influenced. So that means things like if you say, can you give me a positive review? That's not okay. You ha you can ask for a neutral review and that's okay. Um, and you also cannot pay for a review or do any kind of compensation. So they're pretty strict, but there are some things that actually are okay. Like you can, if you know somebody has bought a book, you can say, um, can you leave me a review? And that's okay. If you know somebody who's bought your book, I say go for it. Ask them to write a review for you on Amazon because it will help your book sales. Um, a couple tips on asking them. I'd say give them enough time to actually read it so they can give a good review. Make sure to ask them in a polite, respectful way, knowing that they are doing you a huge favor. Also make sure to let them know how helpful it is to you so that they can know just how important it is. I would also recommend talking to them as one-on-one -on -one as possible. Like a phone call is better than a text message and a text message is better than like a group message on Facebook. Never do that. The less personal it is, the less likely they are to follow through and actually leave a review for you. But you'll be surprised. A lot of people are actually really happy to do this for you and would love to help you out in your career. And the same thing goes for Goodreads. Although if you are only able to ask them to do one of the two, I say always shoot for Amazon because that will help your sales more. So the first question is, who do we ask for a book review? You could go to your mom's friend's blog on flowers, but if she's advertising your book to people who are there to get flower recommendations, then how effective do you really think that blog is going to be? Do they have blogs on flowers? I don't know. I don't know. Well, you get the idea. Look for people whose audience is following them specifically for book recommendations. There is a huge amount of people doing this on Instagram, which is why the term bookstagram came to be. You can easily find thousands of bookstagrammers by searching hashtags like hashtag bookstagram, hashtag bibliophile, hashtag book nerd, you name it. Start typing in hashtag books and see who you find. I believe the same thing could be applied to Twitter and Facebook and other platforms out there, but the second biggest place I'd say you could go for book reviewers is actually YouTube, where there is a community of people called booktubers. These people also shouldn't be that hard to find. If you go ahead and search your favorite book, or even better, um, your favorite book in the same genre that you are writing, and you search that book plus the word review or book review, you should be able to see book reviewers pop up right away. And that brings me to my next point. Make sure that the people you're choosing actually like your genre, because if they don't, one of two things is probably gonna happen. They're either going to just say no and you wasted your time, or if they say yes, they're going to give it a poor review because they don't even like that genre. So find people with a book review platform who are reviewing your genre. And then my third tip is to look for people who have a similar audience size or number of followers as you. This is not a hard and fast rule. You can definitely still try reaching out to people with a larger amount of followers than you. I definitely did by accident and I had some success, but typically 
people will not say yes to. If you reach out to people who have a similar number of followers to you, they are going to be more open to it typically just because um, it's more mutually beneficial. In theory, both of you will gain more followers from the other person's account. But if you have 100 followers and they have 100,000, then you can imagine how they share the review and all those followers come to you but when you share that same review how many followers come back to them it's not an equal value the trade value or whatever you want to call it is clearly in your advantage and they're not going to get very much out of it so you can see why they're not going to jump on that as quickly so now you've narrowed it down to the right people with the right size audience who review books like yours how do you ask them number one learn their name and use it this is just good business and people really appreciate knowing that it's specific to them and not just like a mass email. Number two, learn about their work, their blog, their photos, whatever it is that they're doing and reference it. Again, people want to know that this is specific to them, that you're not just throwing something out there. Number three, I would even go so far as to reference something specific that they've done that makes you think your book would be a good fit for them. It's kind of the same thing as when we were talking about Amazon reviews. The more personal you can be in your request, the more likely people are to actually take it seriously. Number four, be really clear about what you're offering them, what your book or your product is. I would say don't go overboard on this. Say something like, um, I can leave you a link or I'll be happy to tell you more if you're interested. Just give them a brief synopsis. That leads to number five, which is keep it short and sweet. If you think they're worth reaching out to, then there's a good chance that other people do too. So just keep that in mind and try not to waste their time with a super long message. Number six is remember you are asking for a favor. So never be rude or pushy or spammy. They don't have to say yes. But number seven, also remember to let them know you are offering something of value. Typically this will be a free copy of your book plus some exposure from your audience. Again, this is a good reason to pick somebody with the same or similar audience size to you because then this will feel valuable to them. And by the way, as your influence and your reach grows, you can definitely expand on who you ask for reviews from. Tip number eight, um, you could direct message people and I definitely did this with Evelyn's number because I didn't know better, but I've been told that it's much more professional to send an email. You will definitely stand out from the crowds if you do this. Um, not a lot of people do email and especially with a larger account who gets a lot of direct messages every day, there's more of a chance that they will see it, but in the end, it's totally up to you. And my last tip, number nine, is that you should never have to pay for a review. I can only think of one exception, and that is something called Kirkus Reviews, which um, is a very reputable company, and if you get a review from them, you can utilize that quote on the back of your book, and it is very worthwhile. So I'll read you an actual message that I sent to someone on Bookstagram and you can see what you think of it. Hi Megan, I just wanted to let you know how much I like your Bookstagram. I loved seeing your photo of Renegades as well as the Akatar series, Twilight, and more. My name is Bethany Atizada and I wrote a young adult science fiction dystopian novel called Evelyn's Number. Given the genre of books you enjoy reviewing, I thought Evelyn's Number might interest you. I attached a photo of the front cover and the back cover synopsis, but you can also read the first two chapters on my website for free. If you're interested in receiving a free copy for a review, I would love to send you a paperback copy and of course share your review with my followers. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd be happy to chat further if it interests you. Thank you for considering. Bethany. You're probably thinking, wow, this sounds like a lot of work. I have to go search these people out and then make sure they have the right size audience and then research what genre of books they review and then research their account to find out their name and what work they've done recently and something specific that is similar to my book that I can mention and then write them this personalized message asking to send them a free book. <sighs> yes, yes it is, it's a lot of work. Once you figure out how many reviews you want, whether five or 10 or more, I'd say try to reach out to twice that number of people just because some will say yes, but others will say no. And some people might just not answer at all. This is totally normal. It's totally okay. If they do say no, be respectful and say thank you and move on. Let it go. If you try to push this person to give you a review when they said no, 
the only thing that might happen is you'll get a negative review. And if they say yes, the next step is to be very, very grateful and let them know what to expect. For me, that meant saying, thank you so much. I am honored that you want to review Evelyn's number. I will make sure to send you a copy in the mail on such and such date. 